Hey guys, so welcome to my channel. My name's Olivia and I'm a mess. I'm <laughs> um, actually not kidding. Um, as of right now, this is the first video I've posted to my channel for like two years and the videos before that are so cringe. A lot of them are on lock anyway, but like don't try. Like I did keep them up for memes, but like I don't really want anyone to watch them. So just... I just made the biggest decision of my life today. I'll do another video talking about it. Ugh, not to get like so emotional right now, but like I just lost my dad a month ago and school wasn't going so well for me at all. I was failing all of my classes and that's not like me at all. I had to make the decision to um, withdraw from classes today and take my time and energy and focus it on my own mental health rather than um, being a full-time student and working and on top of trying to fix myself. I'll make another video that goes in depth on the loss of my father and my choice to drop out of my university at the moment. On a lighter note, um, on my Instagram I posted a story asking what type of video you guys like to see for the first one and I had a handful of comments asking for like a fall autumn makeup tutorial and I was like yeah, sure, like, it's... All the basic bitches are, like, busting out their Ugg boots and their pumpkin spice lattes. I'm one of those bitches. <laughs> <laughs> and I have had one pumpkin spice latte and it was really fucking good. Bitches are basic for a reason. We like what the fuck is good. Despite the bullshit that is my life right now, what just happened? What the fuck was that noise? It did I capture on camera? Despite the bullshit that is my life, the shit that is my life, the shit that is my life. Okay, also, I have um, a lot of paranormal shit that like happens to me on the daily, so maybe I'll make a video about that. Like, I don't know what the fuck that noise just was, if it even came up on camera, but like, that was weird. It's not just the apartment, it's been happening for like the past month, but it's not just the apartment. It follows me like wherever I go, but that's for another video. <laughs> There's not a lot of joy and happiness going on in my life right now, but I'm just excited to reach out and talk to new people and then just experience something different. I'm really thankful to have these platforms to even turn to, but anyway, let's just shut the fuck up about all the depressing shit because honestly, like, I have enough of it on the daily in my own mind. I just need to, like, hi. Okay, let's restart. Hi. So, a bitch is gonna do her fucking makeup in three, two, one, go. <laughs> Hi, okay, so I'm just gonna jump right into foundation. We're gonna see how this shade matches me right now because I'm not really tanning right now. This was kind of like my dark shade, so I might mix it with like uh, my Estee Lauder Double Wear from like winter. I'm like really broke, so getting foundations to match all my skin tones is kind of fucking hard. <laughs> Currently about to go apply for a new job today. Sephora in my area is hiring, so I'm gonna go like full face, full fucking beat, like hair, like the fucking extensions, like I'm going fucking out. I'm gonna go fix my ratchet nails before I go. I'm just so broke right now, I'm just like literally scrounging up like the little bits of money I can find. So I'm gonna mix these two colors together. I hate when I'm breaking out and I put like a fuck ton of makeup over my zits cause like it's just like you're covering texture and it doesn't look good. You can't just make your texture look good by just slapping. I just spit everywhere. Where's all the redness but the texture? It is still there and the redness probably still there too tbh so you're gonna go ahead and put a thousand more pumps on the back of your hand because you're ugly and you realize that you need more foundation because you're fucking concentrating all the product on your chin because your chin is your breakout spot because your chin is your hormonal breakout spot and you're hormonal and you're crazy and your life is falling apart and your hormones can't keep up and that's okay that's why we have makeup you know i like to use this uh, maybelline instant age rewind i've always used it i've literally used it since like the seventh grade this is just the bomb cheap drugstore and it does like it does like the same work for me, you know? It does what I need it to do. I don't even need to have this part in. We all know how to do this. I'm just highlighting the parts of my face, like the triangle under my eyes. We all should know this by now. You know when you pick your acne and it's like wet and like a fucking open wound on your face and you can't put your powder over it and then like... It just keeps oozing when you keep trying to powder and then it's like it keeps oozing, keeps oozing when it gets... But you know, I just didn't think that was what I needed on camera right now. So you're welcome. Oh, by the way, fuck. Okay, this powder is Gabriel, the brand Gabriel. It's just like a brand from my mom's store. It's in light beige. Um, it's like a local small business Whole Foods type situation. I, 
one color has hit pan in this whole palette and that's because I really only use this palette on a daily for my eyebrows and that's kind of really fucking extra of me but I don't care. I'm not picky about the brown color that I will use on my eyebrows but this is just a good ass brown shade and when it's gone like it's gonna be a little tragic because honestly the best I ever had. She was the best I ever had. So I'm just gonna brush my brows up like that and I just like to start at the tail of my brow so I'm just gonna um, start on the underneath part and just outline the shape of it pretty much and we all know how to do eyebrows I'm not gonna go in depth I'm just gonna honestly probably speed this up starting now so when I'm feeling a little extra I like to take these um, lighter shades they're more blonde toned. I like to take these, mix them, and put them in the front of my brow. Okay, so I'm gonna take the blonder shade. I'm gonna like blend it in the front of my brow. I'm just gonna go to the other brow and do the same exact fucking thing. Um, this is Maybelline's Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer. If you're gonna like take anything from this video, please take this. Go to your local Walgreens, your local CVS, and pick her up. She is so fucking good. She's good in all shades too. Take it, and I push my eyebrows up. Yes, yes bitch. Okay, so we're gonna wing it because I don't know what the fuck I want to do for the eyeshadow. So I'm just going to start off with a transition shade. That's the easiest way to work your way in, you know? You know what I mean? It's just a little, just a little transition shade. Just the tip. Just the tip. All these brushes are from the Jaclyn Hill, I don't know, brush set, whatever it is, from the Morphe site. And they come in, you know, it's the brush kit that comes in this, like, little nice carrying case. This one is the M441. Do you guys really want me to tell you what each brush is? Because I think that's fucking annoying. Um, it's just a brush that looks like dense-ish like that. Also, most of these are going to be naked palette. Because I'm a naked fucking hoe. Don't mind her. Like, don't judge. She's fucking old. She is from the 8th grade. And I am a sophomore in... <coughs> not in college anymore. Here's the shade naked. It's just like a neutral, just kind of transition shade. I'm just gonna go in right here, transition shade down in your crease, and you blend it out in little circular motions because that's what we all know to do. Now I'm just gonna take this really fluffy brush, like run it all over, just like wiping motions, a <laughs> little bit of circular motions, literally just whatever. It doesn't really matter at this point. It's so neutral right now, it doesn't really doesn't matter. Brush is a little fluffier and it's a little dirtier. And let's go to the Naked Heat palette. Let's take Sauced and then maybe we'll go to Low Blow, but let's take Sauced for now. I just did it so heavy on this eye. Okay, so you're gonna take the big fluffy brush if you fuck up like me. Blend and not stop blending until it's fixed, okay? Let's go in with a more dense fluffy brush but let's take this purpley shade so this time I'm just gonna really focus it on this outer part of my eye not like bringing it all the way in and whatever buff out the edges Let's take the shade Enfuego on a more dense brush. I'm really gonna just keep it on the outer corner of my eye. I'm just gonna buff the edges out. I'm gonna take Ashes. It's just one, like a shade darker than the Enfuego that we just put on. I'm gonna start off with this color tattoo cream potted eyeshadow by 
Maybelline. It's called Bad to the Bronze. We're going to take Chopper on a flat shader brush and... Let's take Scorch and I'm just going to pat it on this outer section. Where the shimmer meets the matte, I'm just going to like take this and just run it across just so they can blend a little more seamlessly. I'm going to take Ounce out of the Naked Heat palette, Height and Definition. And for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to take the shade Luna and dip my brush in there. This is from the Anastasia Aurora. So I'm just going to take it on my inner corner. Underneath the eye, I'm going to take in Fuego from the Naked Heat palette and just run it under my eye on a small, dense brush. But I'm going to do falsies now, and I'm just going to go in with this Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. I like to coat my eyelashes before I put my falsies on, so... I'm just going to coat them carefully so I don't get fucking mascara on my eyelid. I always do that. I gotta be so careful. That was some grade A concentration. Look how much better the eye with lashes on compared to the eye with just mascara on. The difference is just... Well, I just, I need false eyelash extensions, but I'm so broke. I just they ask you how you are, you just have to say I want to wear falsies every really day of fine. my life. You just can't get into it because they would never understand. So much. I have false eyelashes on, and people ask me if they're false. I'll fucking tell them they're false. And if I'm wearing my hair extensions, which I have been this whole video, people ask me if those are hair extensions, I'm going to tell them they're hair extensions. People ask about my nose job, I'll fucking recommend them to my plastic surgeon. They talk about my botched lip job, that's another video. We'll talk about that later. I'm not ashamed though, like, I'm here to tell everyone the tea, you know? Damn, Ma, that was a good ass application on both sides. That never happens. Wonder, Wonder Pencil. It's a cream eyeliner and I'm gonna like put it in my waterline. Okay, so now we're going to do bottom mascara. Okay, so now I'm going to do bronzer. This is the Morphe R2 brush. I really love this brush for bronzer. And I'm just going to use this IT Cosmetics little trio. I just use the bronzer out of this right now. I'm just going to go the fuck in. I like to drag it up and kind of warm up my face with it but I don't ever really drag it down I only like blend up and I'll put a little down my neck not too much though because I heard that it's not good to like dip your brush in really hard and just like do this it like it's supposed to look like a beard or something you can make your your chins look worse than they already do I'm gonna drag it up on my temples I just love fooling people into thinking I have a slimmer face than I actually do. Oh my god, this lighting needs to chill, bro. Chill. Fuck my life, dude. Ah, uh, this lighting is going whack. Ah, uh, dude, get it together, bro. I'm just trying to make a fucking video. I'm getting fucking pissed. Back up, I guess. This lighting is like seriously pissing me off. So oh, I'm just getting a little aggravated over here, but it's okay. I kind of fixed it. Okay, so once you get your contour on, I'm gonna take a big extra fluffy ass, extra ass blending brush and just buff it out a little bit. And I'm gonna use this 10 color palette Glamour Blush by BH Cosmetics. Sorry, it's really wrecked and really gross because 
I'm just kind of, my shit's all just kind of nasty and falling apart. I just use, honestly, a combination of all of those shades, like, on a daily basis. Like, that is just, like, my go-to, like, color. I like the way all of them look. And I just mix literally all four of them together and put them on my cheek. Oh my god, I totally forgot to do nose contour. The fucking lighting situation pissed me off so bad I forgot nose contour. Okay, so the thing about nose contour is I don't really know if I do it right or not, so don't really like do what I do. I've never really actually watched a legitimate nose contour highlight video. I just have kind of winged it on my own all of these years, so don't quote me on this. Someone's probably watching that and cringing at all of that because I probably just did it all wrong. Okay, let us move on to my favorite part, which is highlight. Becca um, Shimmering Skin Perfect. The Becca highlighter in Opal. This is what... Oh, fuck. And I'm just going to take it on like a slightly fluffy brush. This could be used for eyes, but I use it for my highlighter. I'm just going to go at it. Ooh, bitch. Ooh. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, bitch. Oh my god. I always like to take whatever is left over on my brush and just like run it along my forehead and my chin. Oh, that's another thing I forgot. I forgot to do a little under the lip contour, just like this. It's supposed to give the illusion of bigger lips because it creates like a little shadow, which gives like the pouty look. But I'm also, I'm going to take the Becca highlighter and put her down my nose and a little dot at the end of the nose. I'll also just pop her up on my brow bone on top of what I already put up there. And then my lip, of course. For the lip, I'm going to try my Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick. This shade is in Child Star. So I'm going to try this and see if this is what I want to go for today. Mmm. Mmm. Love being sick. It's so sexy. Can't tell if that's what I want to go for. This lighting's fucked. This is a ColourPop Lippy Sticks. I know that sounds stupid, Lippy Sticks. That's literally its name, though. Like, I'm not... Stupid. <laughs> but this is one of ColourPop's lipsticks, and this is in Parker Matte, and it's a little bit more of a brown shade. I'm just gonna like darken this lip up because I really like this color, but it's like just washing me out a little bit. I'm gonna put this on top, and, and this is a matte lipstick, and this is also a matte lipstick, so the formulas are kind of coinciding. Mm, that's better for sure. Okay, well, that is the finished look. Um, oh my god, I should have curled my eyelashes. Okay, wait, pause. I forgot to curl my falsies with my realsies. <laughs> okay, now I'm for real done. My camera's about to die. I know that I'm honestly not the best. There's so much better out there, like your James Charles, your Manny MUAs, but honestly, God. The camera died, of course, why wouldn't my camera just die? Whatever level you possess of makeup ability, I honestly can help you if it's if it's mediocre or less than average. I got you, sweetheart. I have you. Like, I am right there with you. Like, I am just mediocre, but, like, just, like, get the eyebrows down pat and, like, putting on the false lashes. And honestly, just those two skills alone, like, if you have that, it looks like you know what the fuck you're doing. And that is what I'm here for. I got you, but I gotta wrap this up. My camera's dying. But I gotta go to Sephora now and ask for a job application. Hopefully, they're still hiring because I really want this job so bad. Like, it doesn't work out and whatever, but I hope it does. And I'll update you guys on whether or not that is a go. Oh, I should take this out. Hopefully they're still hiring. I really hope they are because a bitch is like drowning. I need money. I need, I need 
I need money. <laughs> I need money so bad. I will talk to you guys later. I really hope you enjoyed this um, makeup tutorial. Um, I want to start making more story time videos and like updating you guys on like I'm gonna make a video about dropping out of school and what my plan is and why I'm dropping out. I'm gonna make a video talking about loss, um, losing my dad and just dealing with loss at my age and, and hopefully it'll help anyone out there who's also dealing with loss at our age or just loss like anyone like loss at any age, loss of any kind is all really hard and difficult to cope with and we all deal with it different ways but I'll make a few videos just talking about everything really but anyway I hope you enjoyed this um, autumn inspired makeup tutorial I hope you enjoyed spending your time with me because honestly I really enjoy just like sitting down in front of this camera and talking right now it feels like pretty therapeutic honestly just stay tuned and I will get those videos done as soon as I can and until next time guys thank you for watching me and supporting this endeavor of mine um, I just thought this was like a really nice base, like a really, like I can do makeup decently, I can do makeup at a mediocre level and I thought this was just like a really good like start off video but I have a lot more videos planned for the future but um, just stay tuned for them. If you like this video, subscribe, like, comment down below anything you want to see next or just anything you want to say. I would love to like read your comments like you're all beautiful and I'm so thankful for everyone in my life so. Thank you so much for watching and just stay tuned for the next video. Um, I'll see you guys there. Bye.